How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here, and I'm making this video for the Mavic Air 2 owners out there using the DJI Fly app. DJI and Adobe apparently have some sort of partnership where you can get three months off Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom if you bind your Mavic Air 2 to your DJI account. Now this is different from activation, of your DJI Mavic Air 2. This is binding it using the new device management feature in the latest DJI app update. So 1.2.4, DJI Fly app 1.2.4 is out and available, although not everywhere. If you have an Apple device, you can get it just fine on the App Store. But if you have an Android device, the Google Play Store doesn't have 1.2.4 out yet. To get DJI version 1.2.4 for Android, you have to go to the DJI Fly app website on DJI.com. There's a link in the video description and top pinned comment. And you can download it straight from there on your device and install it. You can check what app version you have on either platform by tapping on those three little dots on the upper right of the DJI Fly app once you've opened it. Going to the About page and just kind of scrolling down a little bit until you see what app version you have. So once you get your app version to 1.2.4, head back to the Launch page of the app where you can access your album, your SkyPixel, and your profile. Tap Profile, and then you have a new selection, Device Management. In device management, you can add your aircraft. So in this case, I have my Mini 2 and my Mavic Air 2. Again, this is different from activation. This is binding these drones to your, your account. Once you have your aircraft bound, it shows your aircraft uh, serial number, your flight controller serial number. Um, it also shows whether or not you've had a value added service, which I do. That would be my DJI Care Refresh that I bought with it. It shows the account email that it's been bound to. And you can also remove it from your account if you sell it or it crashes and breaks or something like that. Once you've done that with the Mavic Air 2, you should get an email from DJI and it'll walk you through the steps of getting three months free of either Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. Now, I know a lot of people like free software. This is not free forever. It's three months. It gives you a taste of the software that I use on a daily basis. Uh, but a lot of people do like free software indefinitely, like uh, DaVinci Resolve or VSDC video editor. Either way, I just wanted to tell you about this partnership. Um, that's really the main update of DJI Fly App 1.2.4. And in fact, I saw on the DJI Fly App for my uh, iPad mini that 1.2.5 was already out. So anyway, releases are being made quickly. I don't know how long this promotion is going to last. Give it a shot. Let me know in the comments if you've been successful. If for some reason it does wrap up, I'll delete the video or, you know, at least I'll unlist it or something. But either way, I want to give you guys a head up. You should be getting an email once you've gone through that process. Now, since I already have the Creative Cloud production suite, uh, I don't actually get much of a benefit from this. It looks like this Premiere Pro free redemption code is running concurrently with my existing yearly prepaid plan for a Creative Cloud. So if you already have uh, the Creative Cloud uh, production suite, this may not actually help you out. But if you just have the Premiere Pro monthly subscription plan for just Premiere, it, it may actually help you out. It may extend your, uh, your payment plan by three months. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. Either way, I think they're really targeting the new user of Premiere Pro with this one. If you do get that three months free and it works for you and you're a little bit lost with the software, uh, just click up here. I have a little card come up and this is going to be a link to my uh, tutorial that I made maybe three, almost four years ago about Adobe Premiere and how I edit my drone footage with Adobe Premiere. Even though it's an older tutorial, it's still applicable and it should uh, get you off the ground running. Anyway, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And if you were successful, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And until next time, Happy flying.